The underground has a three-phase converter. The panel has a series of capacitors that starts the converter on single phase. Then the converter generates three phase, comes back to the panel, and then out to the equipment. All right, kids, welcome back to the shop. Today we're gonna wire up the Jet 20-inch bandsaw. Um, but before I do that, I'm gonna take this panel off just to see if I uh, did any damage um, from that fall. That drop and um, uh, I already checked the fuse. It seemed to be okay. Let's yank this panel off and let's see what we're in for. I just need to verify my connections. Hopefully you guys can see in there. This is L1, L2, L3, and I'm guessing that's the ground. I know you couldn't see my meter, but all right, all that rung out good. So now I'm, I'm making a cheat sheet here. Can you guys see it? If you can see it, but anyhow, at the box, green is ground, black is T1, red is T2, blue is T3. That's my, uh, so let's write this down. So the black, so in this case, the green yellow is ground. The black is L1. The blue is L3, and I'm calling that the orange is L2. So that's how we're going to hook it up. Now I just got to figure out what my um, extension cord, what, what colors that is. Okay, I'm going to wire up the plug now. Um, here's the colors. I got green, red, we're going to call that orange, white, and black. So what I decided that uh, on the cord, green is ground, black is T1 and L1, orange is T2, which would be red and orange. T3 on the cord is white, which would be blue at the box and blue at the motion. Uh, and then the other thing is the plug. So the plug is labeled, it has an X, a Y, a W and a ground. So I just determined here's the two copper screws. So I'm just saying that, uh, see the plug here, I'm gonna say that X and Y, X is T1, Y is T3, um, and T2 will be W and then ground, G is ground. That's how I'm wiring it up. This is the cord, this is 10, 10-3. Ten this is, uh, I believe it's overkill because um, according to everything that I looked up, this two horsepower motor running on three phases, roughly seven amps. Okay, time to wire this up. I got the ground wired in. This black wire is going over here. So let's do that now. Last one, white, should be blue. Everything seems tight enough. Just generating power. All right, let's come over here. I don't see a, a light on. So, we got a problem. <sighs> Who didn't see that coming? So I called uh, technical support and what we discovered is, I know this is hard to see, but you see down here, you see these jumper wires here, these yellow ones here and here. And if you look, I'm gonna try to get the light in there. If you look down there, there's a wiring diagram it says 230 volts and, two, and 460 volts. Uh, this thing is wired for 460. So she ain't getting enough juice, Captain. 
So what we need to do is uh, switch these jumpers around to match this diagram. All right, guys, I had to switch the jumpers uh, from 460 to 230. And what that means is you see this terminal block at the top where it's one, two, three, four, five, six, UVW. Well, the manual will tell you what those top wires, those are the jumpers. Not the bottom ones, not the white ones here. Not these ones. These ones are the jumpers. So the manual will tell you what needs to be jumped. Um, and it's, it, I don't have it in front of me, but you'll see like one and you need to be jumped. And then also the bo bottom terminal block, that's easier to see. So in that case, the jumpers are on the bottom. So you see, uh, what is that, 10 and 11 are jumped. 14 and 15 are jumped and 16 and 17. So that's what it means by jumper wires. So that's what I had to do to change them from uh, 460 to 230. All right, we got the converter running. We got her plugged into the extension cord. There we go, the light's on. Green lights on, fire up. There we go, it's running good. You can see the surface feet per minute's working. Um, let's shut her down. Everything seems to be working pretty good. Let's check the welder. That's spinning. I don't know if it's supposed to be that slow, but hopefully that's okay. We might have to check that out. So one other thing we have to um, we have to check here is we got to check that the motor is turning in the correct direction. Um, so in this case, um, it needs to be turning uh, clockwise. So let's see. Let's fire her up. There is a safety right here, so we've got to push that in. Let's hit it. Okay, so that's running correctly. Now, if that wasn't running in the correct direction, we would have to switch the leads, any, any three of those leads on L1, 2, and 3, we could switch. Um, when I do it, I don't like switching the wild leg. I like leaving it where it is because it fired up. So I'll switch the other two legs and that will reverse the motor. Thanks for watching. Please